Shabbat Shalom, family of Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your blood brother Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Shabbat Day message. I'll be reading from the book of Colossians chapter 1 and through the spirit of Yahweh. I'm going to analyze Colossians 1 and verses... 13 through 18. Colossians 1, verses 13 through 18. And I read, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the pardon of sins? who is the image of the invisible Elohim, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. There are in Shamaim, and there are in the rats, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Verse 18, And he is the head of the body, the assembly, who is the beginning, the first one from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. I read it to say this. Colossians 1, verses 13 through 18, has been misused by many, both, or both by both Yehudi and Goyim, Jew and Gentile, to prove not just the deity of Christ Jesus, or the deity of Yeshua HaMashiach, but it, it, it been misused to attempt to prove the pre-existence of Yeshua HaMashiach. Colossians 1, verses 13 through 18, does not prove the deity of HaMashiach. It does not prove that Yeshua existed prior to his conception. Because Scripture plain says in Matthew 1, In Matthew chapter 1 and verse 18. Now the birth of Yeshua HaMashiach was on this wise. When his mother Mary was a spouse of Joseph, before they came together, she was found with a child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was mind to put away property. But while he thought these things, Behold, the Malach of Yahweh appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, you son of David, fear not to take unto you Mary your wife, for that which conceived in her is of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Turn to Luke chapter 1. And verse 35. And the Malach answered and said unto her, and the Malach answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that self out thing which shall be born of you shall be called the Son of Yahweh. So, this shows us that Yeshua didn't exist prior to the conception. Yeshua HaMashiach didn't exist in the days of the prophets. The prophets merely foretold of his arrival and of his work done by the Spirit of Yahweh. So, the true understanding of Colossians chapter 1, and verse 13, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness? The who that delivered us from the power of darkness? Those who have received the truth of the gospel. Those who had repented of their sins and were baptized in water in the name of Yeshua and Shia, and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in a tongue and y'all permit them to speak is Yahweh. Yahweh delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And which shall, which shall be implemented at his second coming. The kingdom of his dear son is Yisrael. That's the kingdom of his dear son. In whom 
in Yahweh's Son, we have redemption through his blood, even the power and the sins, who is the invisible image of the invisible Elohim, the first one of every creature. Yeshua is the image of Yahweh, just as Adam was the image of Yahweh. When Scripture says that Yeshua is the first one of a creature, this is not talking about pre-existence. First one of a creature simply means that he's the first of the exalted, the first of the re resurrected, the first of the glorified. For by him, by Yeshua, were all things created. By means the cause. For the cause of Yeshua were all things created. There are in Shamaim and there are in Eretz, visible and invisible, whether in thrones or dominions or principles or powers, all things were created by him, or all things were created because of him and for him. So Yeshua creation was created, predicated upon the arrival of the Son of Yahweh. Who will restore all things back to its original state? And verse 17, and he is before all things, about, and because of him, all things consist or reconcile. He is before all things, don't mean that he existed prior to conception. The statement he is before all things means he has been exalted. Of a well, Shami. He, again, he's the first of the glorified, first of the resurrected ones. And he is the head of the body, the assembly, who is the beginning. I mean, the beginning, the beginning of the renewed creation of Yahweh. He's the second Adam, the first one from the dead. Then in all things he may have the permanence. So Colossians 1, verse 13 through 18 does not prove the pre-existence of Yeshua HaMashiach. He did not prove that Jesus, Jesus Christ is God Almighty or the Most High. He did not prove that Yeshua, Yeshua existed prior to his conception. All Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 through 18 is showing us through the hand of Brother Shaul of Tarsus is that Yeshua is the first of the resurrected ones. The first to receive his glorified body. And that through his work of redemption on the cross, we who believe on him are reconciled unto Abba Yahweh. That is all is teaching. The scripture plainly says in Second Corinthians chapter um, eleven and verse eleven verse Second Corinthians chapter eleven and verse son. Saint Corinthians verse
said Corinthians. We're going to come preach another Yeshua. Yes, um, first, uh, here you go. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. For if he that comes preaches another Yeshua, whom we have not preached, the we is talking about the apostles of prophets, Prophets of old. For if he that comes preached another Yeshua whom we have not preached, or we receive another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. So there's many Israelite assemblies, camps, groups, ministers who are teaching another Yeshua. They're teaching a Yeshua that is contrary to what's written in the scripture. Because in order for doctrine to be certified, approved, and authentic of Yahweh, it must be in harmony and accordance with the set by scriptures. And there are those in the Israelite community who are teaching another Yeshua that is contrary to the scriptures. And when another Yeshua is taught, another gospel is taught. Another gospel being taught, people are receiving another spirit that's not the spirit of Yahweh. For the cause, there's many in Israel who know not Yahweh, who have not been reconciled to Yahweh. And for that cause, they're not walking on that straight gate and on that narrow road. But they're walking on that wide gate and on that broad road that leads to destruction. And Yeshua instructed us that there will be many false prophets in these last days. Who uh, deceive many. So while you take heed how you hear. And be sure that what is what you hear is according to what's written. But in order to know what is according to what's written. Yahweh must open one's heart. For no man can receive the word of truth without Yahweh opening your heart. And giving you faith and repentance to receive the word of truth. They may submit yourself unto the word of Yahweh. So this is the work of Yahweh. Yahweh has chosen. Whom shall be saved. And Yahweh has reserved those for damnation. For damnation. And it turns to First Peter. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Peter, an apostle, Yeshua HaMashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, he calls him to be chosen according to the four discernment of Yahweh the Abba, through separation of the Spirit, unto obedience and spring of the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, he bid the favor and shalom multiply. So, Yahweh has chosen certain to receive salvation. And through separation of his self, our spirit. And, what, and if the spirit of Yahweh draws you to be separate unto him, the spirit of Yahweh draws you to receive that spirit. Faith and repentance to submit unto the word of truth. Where you take on the name of Yahweh's son in the word of baptism. And where you seek Yahweh for the baptism of the self by spirit with the expectation that upon receiving the self by spirit baptism, you'll speak in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. And it will lead you to be obedient to the word of truth. So, my beloved brethren. In these times, it's time to examine yourself. Before judgment comes upon that nation, which is the United States, Yahweh has given us opportunity to make preparations to survive it, to thrive. But in order to survive, you must examine yourself to see if you're walking in oneness with Yahweh. 
many Israelites have not repented of the sins of a truth. For if they were had repented of the sins of a truth, that repentance would lead them to what a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, that they may receive the pardon of sins and the renewed nature. But the proof that many have not repented of a truth is many reject water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. They teach against water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And they teach the initial and external proof that one had received the set-apart spirit baptism. So many in the Yusuf community never have truly repented. For they haven't received the pardon of sins. So my beloved brethren, it's time to examine yourself as to whether or not you are in the faith. For we are in these last new days and the clock of judgment has started. So it's time to examine yourself. For Yahweh has chosen. And Yahweh is in the process of drawing his chosen unto himself and refining his chosen that he may be prepared for the time of judgment, for the time you cause trouble, that he may be kind of worthy of the glorious appearing of his dear son Yeshua HaMashiach. Uh, turn to one more verse of scripture. I believe it's on Psalms. Uh, book of Psalms. Book of Psalms 19 and verse Psalms 19 and verse 7. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testament of Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of Yahweh are right, endorsing the heart. The commandment of Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. The scripture says, The law of Yahweh is perfect. The law or the word of Yahweh is perfect. It has no defilement, no errors, no blemishes. It, 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 it is completely without blemish. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. So in order for one to be converted unto Yahweh or to be reconciled to Yahweh, you must obey his law. And the law of Yahweh, which Yeshua HaMashiach preached, instructs us to be born of Yahweh, which is to be born of the water and of the Spirit. That is to be baptized in water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, and to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue, as Yahweh permits one to speak. This is what the word of Yahweh, the law of Yahweh, instructs us to do. So, whoso will, that Yahweh draws to hear these words of truth. I pray Yahweh causes your heart to consider. And I pray Yahweh grant understanding unto you. And lead you according to his perfect, good, and acceptable will. To faith and repentance that you may submit yourself Unto the word of Yahweh. For only the elect. Will endure. Survive. And thrive in the midst of. Various trials. Tribulations and persecutions. And will survive the coming judgment. And the time of your cause trouble. For the elect of Yahweh. Are preserved. Have their heads about them. As written in Psalms 1, Psalms 
Twelve, chapter one and verse one. It reads, "Approved is the man that walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But the delight is in the law of Yahweh, and in His law do they meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that brings forth fruit in the season; his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper." The wicked are not so, but like the chapel when it drives away. There was a wicked shall not stand the judgment, nor sins the come of the righteous. For Yahweh knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Yahweh knows the way of the set apart of the election. Because he preserves his election. And these are the works of election as I am I in First Thessalonians chapter one and verse three. Remember our ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our King Yeshua I'm sure in the South Yahweh in our bar. So the works of election the work the the the, the proofs that one has been chosen by Yahweh, they will, will exhibit throughout the lifetime, in the course of the lifetime, a work of faith, a labor of love, and a patience of hope in our King Yeshua Amshia. These are the works of election. The work of faith, a labor of love, and patience of hope in our King Yeshua Mashiach, in the course or in the tenor of their lifetime, the election will remain consistently obedient to the word of Yahweh. This is the proof of election. The why you must examine yourself as to whether or not you are in the faith, as to whether or not you are an elect of Yahweh. Don't go on from this point on out thinking that you're elect when you're in reality not elect. Because if you think that, uh, the danger is you may be a reprobate. So my beloved brethren, continue to examine yourself. But we are in these last new days. And the elect of Yahweh will be together. We're so we scattered upon this arrest we'll be one with one another we'll, we'll, we'll look out for one another we'll take care of one another if we truly elect of Yahweh so my beloved brethren continue to draw close to Yahweh continue to stay diligent the words of the scriptures most importantly applying it for in the proof, of, the proof of election, the work of faith, the labor of love, and patience of hope in our King Yeshua Amshir, they can all be summed up in one word, perfect obedience to the word of Yahweh. Perfect, steadfast, unmovable obedience to the word of Yahweh. There were some of these proofs of election. So, I pray, family, that I will continue to weed out from among the Israelite community, from among the community of the nations, those who are not chosen to salvation, and to draw his chosen unto himself, continue to refine, refine his chosen, Nurture and increase this chosen in faith and love and patience in our soon coming King Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you, Yahweh, for granting me another opportunity to speak of your word of truth, for guarding your servant, for providing for your servant. Continue to grant us sincere pure faith that we may hold firm to your everlasting word 
in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. So be it. So be it. Shabbat Shalom.